am trying to reconcile the fact that my book writing days have suddenly come to an end. I went shopping as usual on the Play Store looking for a new document viewer. Nothing came close to what I was expecting a few apps making promises they can't keep. More apps handling your basic document format, nothing close to a HTML reader. So now I have to store all my notebooks on the shelf and call it a night as far as working on old book projects is concerned. They tell us we need to reconcile our past to move forward. In order to do that, I'll have to apologize to folks for deeds they called unfriendly. Unwelcome. Stuff one did without giving it much thought or consideration. You don't need a new past in order to forge ahead in life. You don't need to apologize for your past deeds. You don't need to erase your past, you certainly don't require a new set of circumstances. To do that you write and rewrite a fat new book all action oriented explaining to cats who don't deserve asking questions about your past. Why you did what you did, do you have any remorse about your previous life? And are you ready, able, and willing to make amends for the stuff you put cats through? Question mark. To move forward, one does not require a new set of circumstances. One does not require a new past. One does not require a new roommate. One does not require new friends. One does not require to make a public apology. All one needs is to close one door, then open a new one. Times and seasons change. Circumstances change. Environment change. Friends come and go. One must adapt the best mindset in order to maintain a sense of stability. The mentality has to adapt to new environment. The heart needs to play its part in the that adaptation. Or one will develop a clash of the will. Habits need to be altered to suit the new environment. You can't do that on your own. You need help from the outside, from the great high priest. To know God, you don't need a new set of circumstances. You don't need a new past, you don't need new roommates, all you need to know God is to know God. And you do that by developing a knowledge of who he is. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Forward motion.